I don't like that. I think people who wear that look stupid. I'm just going to go out and say it. I think you look ridiculous. If you want to wear that, that's your business. When I'm shooting my stuff, I don't want to look foolish. What's up, Guns Out Nation? I'm Sher Michael Singleton. And I'm John Keyes. You got it right that time. Man, I know. I, I, just, oh, I can't let like it go. Two episodes John. Later. I know, I know, I know, guys. You know, I gotta give John hell. Guy. So, guys, we have freaking Wilder Tactical Belts, the Urban Assaulter kit. I gotta tell you something. When I was looking up belts a couple months ago, I was looking all over the place. I talked to Daniel, Daniel Accord, our videographer, and Daniel had recommended Wilder. I looked up a couple videos and I was like, you know what? This is what I want. And, John, let me tell you something, bro. I have no regrets. I'm just staring at it. It's amazing, isn't it? Listen, um, so my thing is this. I, I'm gonna say this for all the new people, right? All the new oh gun owners. Boy. No, for real, all because right, right, right. the belt systems, this stuff gets tricky, guys. I mean, it really does. It you does. can kind of look like a fool out there if you got the wrong stuff, and you just don't <laughs> want to do that. My tip, stay off Amazon. Okay, so Still now. Wilder. Yeah, yeah, so now getting into the belt, I mean, this belt is a one-stop shop. I, I mean, you know, and, and that's what was tricky about it. I, you know, when I first started looking at belts, mm -hmm. I was looking for all the individual components. Yeah, yeah. I was finding and components. It can be hard. It can I was be finding hard. components I liked, the belt doesn't work. I was finding the belt that I liked, the components don't work. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, you know what, Daniel? I need a one-stop shop. He sent me a link, it went to this belt, click purchase. Here's the belt. And, and everything, when you buy the Urban Assaulters kit, everything, at least, I think it comes with all the magazines. I have another um, AR yep, mag. Two ARs and two correctly. pistol. And then we added out, we have our tourniquet, our medical, we have our dump pouch. Mm -hmm. You have here if you work. John usually likes to, likes to shoot with gloves sometimes. I hate that, but you can hang your gloves here if you want. I just, man, I, I love this thing, man. It, it's, it's comfortable, it, it's small, it's not huge like, the, you know, those with, with the cummerbund and all that crap. Yeah. I don't like that. I think people who wear that look stupid. I'm just gonna go out and say it. I think you look <laughs> ridiculous. If you wanna wear that, that's your business. When I'm shooting my stuff, we're, I don't wanna look foolish. We're that's leading, just being honest. We're leading with that. No, we're no, leading that's okay. with that. That's and, just my opinion on it. No, you know what? I, like I said, you could kind of look foolish out there, guys, if you if you just run into the wrong stuff, right? So what I like about this belt is I like the retention on the yep. belt because mm -hmm. of the Velcro inside. Yep. So for example, right now I have on the Velcro insert, and I, and that's yeah. just it's literally just like a regular. Oh, you yeah, have yours there. So yeah, there it is. So yeah, I have yeah. mine on. Mm -hmm. It's just like a regular belt. That's it. So, like, legit, if, like, let's just say I was in a situation where I was training, I was, I was running this belt, and then all of a sudden I got to leave and I'm going to go concealed, I could still yeah. use this because the retention on it, and you, can set, it. you can set the retention, yep. right? Yep. Um, and I also like that it keeps the belt Here's in place. The retention. Yep. No, I, like, John, I, look, I think you're absolutely right. Another thing that I like, um, for, for some belts that I have seen, I can't remember what these systems are called, and Daniel oh, will have yeah, to yeah. remind me of this. So Daniel, guys, what these, for, for, forgive these? me. It, it's no, 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 no. There's a, the other. Um, Roy, you may know it. It's the other um, attachments for the accessories to the belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can, okay, so to that I, point, I guys, like listen. You, you know what? That's the other tricky part about this is when you're building out your belt, mm -hmm. and then you like if you're doing it a la carte, it's going to ask you all these questions about what kind of clips you want, and and I mean. Most of us don't know 
what all that is. If you didn't run that in the military or just take training to know what all mm -hmm. this is or just search it all up and mm -hmm. take like a whole day of your time to do that, then you're going to just be in the checkout just trying to like figure it out. So right. that's why I like this bill because it and, just and came with, with this, everything. I mean, you, you screw it in, it's sturdy. But yeah, it's again, not the going, retention, it's yeah. It's not going anywhere. That mm -hmm. retention mm -hmm. that John is talking about now. Well, for the medical. About the pockets. So, so that's the thing too. Like these are yeah, pockets. So, so you, you, you're, you're literally inserting this into the, mm -hmm. the main belt. Mm -hmm. um, I have seen some belts that sort of that have this system here. So it's just freaking, Where it just attaches you guys right at the bottom. See this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you know, how sturdy this is. I think this, you know, it's it's plastic, plastic breaks. I feel like this can come apart over time. I like having screws. Mm -hmm. I like knowing that this isn't going anywhere, no matter what, no yeah. matter if I'm climbing a tree or jumping over a fence or getting into a fight, I know mm -hmm. it's there. I would actually be concerned that this could get snatched off. And by the way, this does not, I don't know if this comes from, or maybe this does come from Wilder. Maybe this is an option from I'm Wilder. I'm stuck on and you I didn't climbing wanna, a tree. Well, yeah, John, you never know. But I didn't want this particular option and the options that I wanted that would match uh, my magazines mm -hmm. here. They didn't have in stock. So I was like, you know what? I got to have medical. You never know. So I went ahead and got what they had. I don't particularly care for that, but I do know some people who do like it because of their military background. Mm -hmm. So the thing I like about these pouches, the mag pouches, mm -hmm. is like, as you can see right now, I'm running my staccato mags and an AR mag, right? So when I changed to my SIG mags, mm -hmm. they're a different width. Right. 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 So all you got to do is loosen this you just press this in just mm -hmm. like this and you slide it out and then you can pull on it so it, it it loosens the 550 cord so you can now add you know you can tighten it for smaller mags mm -hmm. or you can loosen it for bigger mags i really like that yeah. i mean listen it's it's all here it's you can put all... different different holsters also whatever yeah, yeah. type of holster you want yeah oh, yeah this is just a you know safari uh, Ky... in, whatever this you're is running. a qvo kydex QVO, holster yeah. with a paddle on the back fits i mean oh and the other thing here it is so if you don't want to run oh, the inner belt, that, yeah, if you don't want to mm -hmm. run the inner belt, right, if this is just purely your tack belt and you just want to throw it on and take it off and throw it in a bag, mm -hmm. then you just use this pad. So have the you pad, used that? I have, I have. I've never used it. So now the retention isn't as great, obviously, exactly. as this. The retention mm -hmm. isn't as great. Um, you probably need to tighten the main belt up more and mm -hmm. it's just going to be choking your waistline. Um, some people might like that and you know, you don't want to go on a diet or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's why I just, I just like this. I like the insert a little bit better, but again, you have options and, you it, have and, options. and it all came with it. So look, I really you like You have that. options and look, I, I think like, as John stated, if you're new into the game or maybe if you're experienced mm -hmm. and you're trying to figure out what do I want, I personally feel you cannot go wrong with this because when you go to order it, mm -hmm. all the main components come with it. Yep. And when you're on Wilder's website, and you're buying a assault, urban assault kit, it gives you the options to choose your medical and your tourniquet and your dump pouch to add on to the overall um, sale before you check out. Mm -hmm. And for new people who are, who are just getting into this, who are really trying to figure out, well, what do I need? What do I buy? It does not get better than this. I, I hate trying to explain something to a new person, John. Mm -hmm. And not that they can't get it, but it's just so much information oh, yeah. overload. It, it, it is. It information is. overload. It so is. I would rather be able to say, guys, this is a trusted company. Mm -hmm. A lot of people utilize their equipment. Go to the website, one-stop shop. Everything, for the most part, comes with this bill. And so here's the thing, too, I want all you guys to understand, especially, you know, mostly the new people, is that, a lot of this is a like a learning in progress type thing. Sure, you learn sure. through osmosis. You mm -hmm. try different things and you yep. see it works because what works for me might not work for you and what mm -hmm. works for you might not work for me. Um, I do know that this comes with enough options to where somebody that my setup won't work for, they can kind of tweak this and, and make the setup work you. for them. Yeah. So that's why we're kind of recommending this as kind of like a one-stop shop. Yeah. Now, the other thing that I just want to make sure that I mention um, that a lot of new people forget is getting your med kit. If you're out on range days, going yeah. to the range, just have a med kit. Yeah. Have a med kit. Make sure you have a tourniquet. Yeah, and, and med kits and tourniquets are course. yeah, yeah. Take basic course on how to utilize this stuff just to be on the safe side. One hundred percent. And you know, and also know, a med kit does not always come with a tourniquet. Every now and again, it comes right. with a tourniquet. Most times, it doesn't come with a tourniquet. So mm -hmm. make sure you have both a med kit and a tourniquet. And like Shermichael said, take some training. You can literally watch YouTube videos on how to apply a tourniquet and how to use a med kit. What's important in here? Some people swap things out because you know some people have certain conditions yeah, yeah. and everything. But certain it's just important to have. Yeah. It's definitely it's important, important to have. have. Look, I, I like this. 
This is probably, we've reviewed quite a few things so far, and this I actually have no complaints about. And, and listen, I that love says a lot. everything <laughs> that about says a this lot. belt. Mm -hmm. um, I think the folks over at Wilder just did an amazing job. Yeah, no, man. they it nailed just, it. It just, just doesn't it. get really better than this. No, it, it, well, it does. When you add the guns out well, patch. When yeah, you so add make sure you guys patch. get the guns out patch. Yeah, yeah, when way. you add the guns out patch, psh, now, now you're really ready. Now you, I just got you, mine you, today. Look, you ready, okay. ready when you get the guns out patch. Why did I get mine so last night? I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta mess with John, guys. <laughs> Look, check out Wilder, guys, and tell them Guns Out sent you. Absolutely. And Wilder, when they say Guns Out sent them. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, John? I just, I don't know. Daniel, insert something there. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> a well regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The people means all people. Arms means all arms. Shall not be infringed means no compromise. We are gun owners of America. Hey guys, so if you liked this video, like it, share it, comment, and also make sure you hit that notifications bell to be made aware of new and upcoming episodes. All that stuff he just said, plus go over to GunsOutTV.com, check out the Guns Out store, and also we have a donate button. So if you want to help us out making new content all across the country, share a little love. A little bit, a little, bit. a little bit. And make sure you follow us guys on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay tuned to what we're doing because there's a lot of exciting things that are coming your way and we want to keep you guys up to date. Also, sign up for our newsletter on our website. We give away stuff sometimes. We do? Are well, you paying for it? That's the way it is, guys. <laughs> Let's go. And get some. Good stuff. All right.